The key to catching flounder from shore is simple. You need to know where the best structure is within the area that you're fishing so you can fish the specific spots that are most likely to produce those flounder. In this video, I'm going to take you through in just a few minutes how to break down a large area into specific spots that are most likely to generate fish. Okay, so here's a spot that looks really good. It's fairly close to an inlet, which is going to be up here on the right. So the water flow on the outgoing is going to go in this direction and opposite in this direction on the incoming. Uh, there's a lot of area in here that, that looks like it could be decent. You have a little bit of a bend, you have the, the curve. Really, it's, it's shore access, so you only have access to the water from, from the, the shoreline here on the right. You cannot get to the left unless you have a boat or a kayak or you swim across. So let's take a look at a better view of this. So instead of the satellite view, I'm going to go over and switch to the Navionics. Okay, now look at this view. This now shows you the opportunities that you have within this area. So if you can, you can run across this street and get up right next to the waterline, you can see in the Navionics view the contours underneath the water. And you can see a lot of these lines are, are spaced close together along the shoreline and it drops down in the middle here to about 11 feet, uh, pretty much through here in the middle. But you have a pretty severe drop off on this inside, which is the, the side that you're going to be fishing from. So what I would do is try to set up in these areas here, cast on the incoming up into the current and kind of drag your bait or not drag, but bounce the bait back down along these contours and see if I can't pick something up on the incoming and then reverse that on the outgoing. Okay, and now we have a spot that I've actually fished before that sets up really well for shore fishing for flounder. Now in this case the inlet is down in this direction, uh, about a mile, mile and a half from here. And I'm looking specifically at this point right here. Um, and, but I'm not really looking at it as a point. It's actually this point up here that I'm going to be fishing off of, but you can't access that from shore very easily. Um, you, you'd be covered in, in ticks and up to your neck in mud if you tried to make it around uh, through the, the back ways to get out to this point, but you don't need to. Uh, so I'm really talking about this area right in here, and it's all castable. Uh, it's very easy to work. Um, on the outgoing tide, when the water is moving in this direction, you're going to have uh, a really nice area to toss, and you're going to see also on the incoming. So let's switch over to Navionics. Okay, so here's the Navionics view, and I'm zoomed in a little bit more than I normally would simply because, again, this is a shore spot, and it's easy to burn this place out and get too many people into it. So I want to, want to kind of keep it really to just the overall view of what this spot has to offer rather than to say, hey, everybody go hit this spot. So here's that, that first point that we want to fish that is inaccessible up here on the top left, and here's where you can actually stand down here on the right. Uh, or just below it. Now look out here in the Navionics, you can see there's an 18 foot, 21 foot, so you got, you got a hole here um, as it comes around the corner and there's a channel up on the left, main channel on the right, and again the inlet is down in this direction uh, about a mile to a mile and a half away. So some, some really good water flow that comes through here. But, but take a look at again the lines getting real close together on the Navionics. Uh, there's, a, there's a sheer drop off right here down into this hole. So what I like to do is on the outgoing, I toss up into this area and you can reach it uh, from, from standing right here. I toss up a bucktail uh, and a teaser and I bounce it along this ridge, this ledge down and along here and let it sweep past me. But you can see it, it levels out down here. The lines get really far apart and it just goes into kind of like a flat wasteland. So I'm picking up once the, the bait gets down to about this area and I'm tossing again and, and, and working that area. Now on the incoming it's a little bit more difficult because you don't want to toss too far up into that wasteland, but you do want to hit it. Um, you want to hit it because the, the flounder will set up ahead of the structure and this is ahead of the structure on the incoming. Again, the water's going from the bottom right to the top left. So you're going to toss up into this area and you're going to work it down along here, down towards that hole and, and bounce it as it comes up across this ridge again here. Uh, if you have some distance on your cast, you can actually hit the opposite side and fish that back side right up in here. Uh, and this has produced uh, multiple uh, decent fish for me over the past several years. This one spot, it's not great all the time, but it is good at certain, certain tides, certain winds. Uh, so I would definitely give this a, give this a look. 
Now that you've seen how I break down spots, there's a video popping up on the screen that will show you the tools that I use in order to do the spot breakdowns like in this video. And there's also a playlist that's going to show all of the flounder catches that I had in the past season, along with how I broke down those spots. So click one of those links and I'll see you in the next video.